Hey guys, welcome to another Final Cut tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Mask Object Transitions Pack for Final Cut Pro 10. So we just click buy it now. We enter our information. Once your payment goes through, you'll be taken to this page. Just click download your plugin and then you can click on the link and this will download. So once that's downloaded, just head to downloads in Finder and you'll see it there at the top. Uh, Mask Object Transition Pack, double click and here's everything that you need. So all we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this folder here, we're going to copy it, and then I'm going to go to go, home, you want to go on your user profile, this one, which is this one here, movies, motion templates, and then we're going to paste this into transitions. So now let's open up Final Cut Pro. So now we're in Final Cut Pro, I'm going to head over to my transitions tab here on the bottom right and on in Mask Object Transitions you can find our new transition packs. So included in this pack we have our mask left to right and our mask right to left. So these are two transitions that come with 17 preset objects that you can use to transition. We then have our mask left to right custom drop zone and our mask right to left custom drop zone. These are basically the same transition except you can swap the objects out for whatever you like. So it's a super versatile transition and it's applicable to any scene. Okay, so I've got my clips in the timeline. It's a sequence of a woman arriving in New York. These clips have some great opportunities for mask transitions from object to pass in front of the screen and cut seamlessly into the next clip. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my mask left to right. I'm gonna pop it on my first clip. I'm gonna delete the first one. So it's just on the second half. So when you click on the transition, you can see here as a default, we're gonna have our selection of dark, which is a dark bar that will pass across the screen. And there's plenty to choose from in here, which give you a range of different scenarios. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna choose a traffic cone. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this object up so it takes up the whole screen. And I'm gonna move it up or down to where I'm happy with it. Okay, that's good. Then these sliders in the bottom will allow me to color match it and make this feel more natural. So I'm going to play with the depth of field here, which is going to give us a nice blur. Change the brightness so it stands out less. And I might just change the hue to try to match this kind of um, this pedestrian sign here. Okay, cool. So we'll take a look at that now. Awesome. So this next clip has some great motion. We're running right to left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our transition that runs left to right, so it follows the motion of movement. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna choose mask left to right with a custom drop zone. I'm gonna drop it between my two clips. So when you click on this transition, you're gonna find in your inspector that it has the drop zone section up here in the top right. If you click this, you can select any image you've brought into Final Cut. So for this, I recommend doing PNG images with a transparent background. You can get these really easily by just going on Google and typing in whatever you're looking for and then put PNG and transparent at the end. So as you can see here, I've got a picture of Harry Styles. So I'm just gonna select this in our browser and click apply clip. So you can see how this is already adding it into the transition, but we're gonna to wanna to change the scale so that he takes up the whole screen from top to bottom. I'm gonna bring him down like this. And then I'm going to use our depth of field slider. And then I'm just going to play with some other options here to match the scene. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's a little fast, so all we have to do here is just drag the transition out slightly, and we can hopefully match the speed of motion. Okay, that looks good. Let's just have a look at our sequence. So yeah, hopefully you can see that using this custom drop zone really makes this transition perfect for any film. You can use any object in the custom drop zone to transition from any clip to any clip. It's super customizable and can be used in any scene for any film. So have a lot of fun and we'll see you on the next one.